Dear all, it's an honor for me to be here with you and have this wonderful opportunity to congratulate you on the establishment of the Sino-European Community of Intellectual Development. In these hard times, where we are living because of the pandemic worldwide situation, a Chinese-European academic alliance focusing on the development of children's thinking skills and pedagogical innovation is of great importance. As Albert Einstein said, we cannot expect things to change if we keep doing the same things. The crisis can be a real blessing for people and nations, because every crisis brings progress. Interdisciplinarity and dealing with uncertainty will have to be two pillars in education of our future generations. That's why it's always more crucial to provide children with critical thinking and problem-solving skills to face with the real-world problems. And children education plays a central role in this paradigm shift. My name is Andrea Capozucca, and I come from Italy. I am an high school maths and physics teacher, and I also teach techniques and methods of math science communication at the University of Camerino. I also actively collaborate with many other national and international universities, carrying out research projects on STEAM, arts integration, inquiry-based approach to learning, and innovative teaching methodologies, but also on public engagement, storytelling, and complexity in maths communication. Since 2016, I'm strongly linked with the Experience Workshop STEAM Network, with which I started a fruitful partnership by presenting training course for teachers and workshops for students of all ages. For years, I presented talks, workshops, and maths training courses, as well as I conceived and organized science and maths communication events nationwide, during which I met thousands and thousands of people, teachers, students, families. This allowed me to create a huge network of teachers from primary to secondary upper schools and to begin interesting collaborations with magazines and blogs. Two years ago, I started my collaboration as an author with Focus Scuola magazine, a monthly Italian magazine for teachers edited by Mondadori, and for which I am proudly editing the four pages centerfold entirely dedicated to STEAM. Contents and activities proposed inside are the result of the collaboration among me, Experience Workshop, and Labilia. Labilia is an Italian company whose goal is to give a new form to culture by creating new environments and innovative proposals. Since 2017, I am the scientific director of Labilia. We worked on many science popularization events, Maths on the Beach, Math and Co. Mathematics Between Art and Play, very Math Basking Street and Maths Magic, just to name a few. But our flagship is Fermamente Science Festival, that takes place every October in the wonderful setting of Fermo, an historical town in the middle of Italy. Fermamente is a huge festival where four years now more than 80 different events takes place over the three days. The philosophy behind the festival is simple. Everyone must enjoy and engage with science if it's presented in a fun, exciting, engages and ends on way. There is no question of dumping down science. Fermamente aims to light science up and to keep everyone up. Every activity presented within the program are challenging, food for thought and interdisciplinary oriented. That's why I think that Fermamente has a great potential in developing children's critical thinking and problem-solving skills, as well as in being an innovative learning environment for students and teachers. Therefore, in synergy with Labilia and Experience Workshop, 
I am currently working on the innovative STEAM People project. It will start in September 2021 with a STEAM People Patreon channel and the release of the STEAM Book Manifesto, edited by Termanini Editore, both in Italian and in English language. Then, it will continue in December with the special monographic STEAM number for Focus Scuola magazine. Many things are on the way, but the most important now is the establishment of the Sino-European community of intellectual development. So, congratulations once again. Zai Jiang.